Okay, so normally when I tell real life stories on this channel, it's something from two years ago or four years ago, or if I'm really missing the old days, I'll go back to like 11 years ago, because that's where all the interesting stories are, right? Well, for once in my life, I'm proud to present a story that actually happened this year, not only this year, but this week. So I'm from Texas, right? It doesn't snow here. We don't know how to handle snow. In fact, if there's even like a threat of there being ice like on the streets, like at any point, then school pretty much gets canceled because Texas drivers just don't know how to deal with that, right? So when it snowed a week ago on Valentine's Day, it was a big deal, right? I can literally count the number of times that I've seen snow now, like just on my fingers. I love looking at snow, but I do not like feeling it because that means it's freezing outside and my poor Texas blood cannot handle it. And when I say I have Texas blood, like I think the temperature of my blood is like 10 degrees warmer than a normal person because literally like I still wear a jacket when it's 100 degrees outside and if my car has been outside in summer heat all day, I enjoy sitting in it with no AC. It just feels good, okay? Call me crazy. I just like it. So anyway, when it snowed on Valentine's Day, Esther and I were, you know, spending the day together, um, having this nice romantic Skywars party on Hypixel. All right, so it's Valentine's Day, right? And we're like, hey, it's snowing. Like, look at this. Wow, looks beautiful, right? But like we're in, we're in the middle of playing Minecraft PvP, right? So what's the solution? Oh, there's this hallway. Let's just set up some boxes and stuff, play Minecraft right here, and look at the snow. Huh, what a grand solution. Now, 20 minutes after that, my hand got cold and it made it harder to kill people in Minecraft, so we actually ended up taking our party back into the edit suite, which is this nice, cozy, dark room with a big computer, and it ended up being a really fun day. And we were really excited because that meant there was no possibility of us having classes the next day. So the next morning I woke up, the first thing I did was check my phone because you know, it had snowed. And I found out that not only had we gotten like four inches of snow that night, but one of the generators on campus had died, leaving half the campus with a no heat or electricity. And of course, it happened to be the half of campus that I normally use, which of course included my dorm and the Hagee building, which has the precious edit suite in it. Now, just so you can understand how detrimental this was for me, let me, let me just draw a picture here, okay? So, Esther and I are literal meteor rats. Like, every day, I wake up in Gwines, but we immediately scurry over to the HCC, where we stay in a dark edit suite with a big computer and even bigger couch all day long. We'll make videos, play games, watch random shows on Disney+, Plus, and, you know, sometimes we'll do schoolwork and just all the important things they need to get done, right? And now every once in a while, we'll, like, peek our heads out and look around and then, you know, run across the campus for food and bring it back. But other than that, we do not leave the Hagee building until, like, midnight or later. So with no power, that basically meant we couldn't have any heat in that room, and we also couldn't use the computers, but we could still have our phones and portable chargers, and it was still a comfortable room, and it doesn't really get that cold in there because it's in the middle of the building and it's really well insulated, so we could still go there, and while our dorms might get a little cold, we had blankets, it was gonna be fun. So we planned to just go back to Hagee, but then I got a text from my RA, and it basically said that because the power was out in my dorm, we were essentially we had to consolidate into one of the three dorms that still had power. And just for perspective here, there's six dorms on campus. Three of them had no power, three of them had power. So if there's a two-person dorm and you're consolidating the other half of the campus into a bunch of other two-person dorms, you have four people staying in a room that's meant for two people. Which, you know, all around was just not going to be a pleasant experience because I've been in those dorms and they do have carpet, but it might as well be straight up tile for all the comfort it offers. It's like carpet that's as hard as floor and stains. I don't know why they even have it. And also, as you know, COVID doesn't exist if there's snow outside, so it's perfectly safe to just shove six dorms into three. Nothing could go wrong there. So our school had like the best of intentions with this plan, but I saw a lot of things that could go wrong with it, so I devised a counter plan, right? So I might have been banished from my dorm, but they couldn't keep me out of the Hagee building, so my plan was to hide out in the edit suite where it would still be decently warm and I'd at least have a comfortable couch and no people sharing the room with me. Now, of course, I had to tell my RA where I was. So I called one of my friends who had a dorm and asked if he would vouch for me and say I was there while I actually went to the edit suite. And, you know, he thought it was a pretty amusing idea, so he agreed. So I packed up all the belongings I would need for one night, 
and uh, started the arduous trek across the snow-infested campus to make it to the Hagee building. I almost died a few times because of, you know, ice and snow everywhere. And it was nine degrees outside, but it felt like negative nine according to the weather app. And there was actual wind chill warning. My Texas blood could not handle that. But I made it to the Hagee building, right? I was completely safe and sound, reached to open the door, wouldn't open. It was locked. What? Why is the Higgy building locked? It's not supposed to be locked right now. So, you know, I was kind of confused. So I called security and asked if they would let me into the Higgy building. They told me that because of the snow and campus being closed, the Higgy building was locked because of reasons. I don't know. Apparently, if the campus is closed, they lock all the buildings that are deemed non-essential and I can't really blame security for this. It's not their policy, but they couldn't let me into the Hagee building, which why would you lock me out of the Hagee building? That's my actual home. My life is in there. You can't lock me out of that because of snow. I don't care if the power's out. I should still be allowed to go into my house, but no. So, you know, still standing outside in the freezing cold weather, I called my friend back and said, hey, can't get into the Hagee building. I need to actually stay with you. He said I could, but you know, it was gonna be cramped because there were already seven people staying in his apartment. So once again, I set out into the freezing cold weather to try to find this random apartment that I'd never been to and was also on the opposite side of campus. I almost died again a few times, but you know, I made it. Uh, couldn't even feel my fingers or toes at that point and uh, dropped my stuff off in this apartment where I found that I was going to be staying in a room that already had two other people in it, and it was a room that was meant for one person. So, three people in a one-person room. Now, naturally, that was not a pleasant situation to be a part of, and while I had thought that it was going to last for just one night, the power didn't come on for another three days, so I was stuck there for three nights. So with the Hagee building locked, Esther and I had to move our base of operations. So the next best alternative was setting up our laptops at the back of this big auditorium, which was one of the only areas that still had power. I want to say that it was comfortable back there, but no, it wasn't. The chairs were designed for like hour long church services and not for someone to sit in there all day. So, you know, that was fun. And also we ended up with an influx of refugees from two of the dorms that had power, uh, their pipes burst so all the people just went to this building because they had nowhere else to go you know just setting up laptops sitting on the hallways and on the floor fun stuff uh that was the uh conditions that we were in when i edited episode two of did you catch that fun fact so that was fun um an entire week of school got canceled wish i could say that you know it was a great time but no it wasn't uh <laughs> the one saving grace of that week was the fact that we had these audiobooks of the warrior cat series um, I, I know it's, you know, it's junior fiction and I'm, I'm an adult, I'm 20, right? But you know what? I'm not ashamed to admit that I enjoy reading the Warrior Cats books. Those, they're amazing and they're, I might have cried a few times. Okay, just, just leave me alone. I enjoyed it and it salvaged that week, okay? So yeah, things have now finally gone back to normal. Uh, I think the last of the snow melted this morning, so that's cool. Uh, we go back to school tomorrow. It's been eight days. So yeah, thank you so much for listening to my rant about my bad week. I hope you enjoyed the real life story. If you're watching this and you were in Texas or one of the other states that was affected by this huge snowstorm, let me know your experience. Uh, if you had a better time or worse time than I did, I want to hear about that in the comments. Um, if you're watching this and you're from Canada or like Europe where you know there, there's actual snow and uh, you know, you're just listening to this thing and like, wow, what a wimp. Uh, can't say you're wrong, but keep in mind that Texas infrastructure is not designed for this. We don't have treatment for our roads and our drivers don't know anything about driving in the snow. And, you know, we just freak out when there's snow because it's Texas, okay? With that being said, let me know your worst snowstorm experience in the comments. And thank you so much for watching. And as always, follow your dreams. And watch random shows on Disney Plus, you know, all the important stuff that like has to get done during the day. Is that, was that good? Yeah, it seems like we don't, it's like our lives are so much more interesting than they are. It's a joke. It's just, it's sarcasm. Like, they know we do stuff.